Welcome to the Church of Detail Jesus. Welcome back, guys. It's Detail Jesus here with a Tesla. This is a 2017 Model S, and it comes from a time when Tesla kind of made cars okay. The Model S has always been a fairly decently built car, and we didn't start finding problems with them until around like 2018, 2019, at least uh, in as excessive as we find them with the Model 3 and the Model Y. So I don't have a lot of bad to say about this Model S. And as I said, I will give credit where credit is due. These pieces of tape are some dirt nibs I found in the paint, but I didn't really see anything else that looked too off. Albeit, it is ugly as sin with chrome trim. I don't know who puts chrome on these cars, but unlike the 3 and the Y, the trim on these cars actually lines up pretty good. There isn't a ma there's a tiny gap here, but it's not fucking massive like it is on the Model Y. In fact, on this side, it's actually pretty perfect. Everything goes smooth. Here, it looks like we have a little bit of factory paint waviness in the clear coat but only in this section by the tail light you can kind of see it here just like the in the light look in the light we have the tiniest little dirt nibs they were kind of all over this quarter panel from what i can see but not nearly as bad as they have been on previous or on newer models I'm not sure why Tesla fucking fucked up so hard on the Model 3 and the Model Y. They had a pretty good thing going with the Model S because this is one of the better quality cars. It always has been. There were way less problems with these uh, when they first came out than with the Model X or any of those cars. They just made it ugly with too much chrome trim. And then they made it so that uh, these mirrors are a bitch to do wrap on. And if you do do a chrome delete on one of these cars, if you want to get the best longevity out of this area, make sure that you turn off the auto folding mirror feature. That will save you a lot of headache. Sometimes taking apart these kind of can kind of suck. The clips break. I've had a motor somehow break. I think it was already broken and we just made it worse, but I uh, have had some random stuff go wrong and there's usually some lifting or peeling we've seen from so many people who do chrome deletes here. Uh, so I usually, avoid these or I will say we have no warranty on this area because it sucks. But chrome is ugly and it should be deleted. So I guess today what I'm saying is Tesla did something right. And I am not saying that it is not still a disposable battery, but at least it is a fast disposable battery because the Model S is fucking fast as shit. So, uh, but Tesla should go back to 2017 and below when they actually made good quality cars. The only thing they needed to do was put that satin uh, trim that they now do on the newer models onto the older ones. They should have done that before. But that is all for today, guys. If you are new to the channel and you want to hear more about Tesla bullshit and making fun of other detailers, please hit subscribe and make sure you hit the little dingy button so when Detail Jesus, get the fuck out of my face, fly, Detail Jesus drops another video from Detail Heaven, you will know that it has been released. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for watching. We appreciate your views and we love you guys. Uh, continue to give us feedback and engage in our posts. And I'm most likely I will not listen to your feedback because this is the Detail Jesus channel. Uh, so I hope you guys all have a great one. Follow us on Instagram, wicked underscore auto styling. Or yeah, that's the, the at, wicked underscore auto styling. And we will catch you soon. Detail Jesus, signing off.